Welcome to Hammer and Nails with Skip and Allison Bedell. TGIF, man. Friday, Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday, and we're back. Here we are. I'm Skip Bedell. I'm Allison Bedell. And you guys are whoever you are. And thanks for coming back to Hammer and Nails Podcast. We love you. And you guys are just the best because we're getting some great feedback on the whole uh, interweb thing and uh, Facebook and Twitter and all that. You're so far away from your microphone. Really? Am I? How's that? That's better. Is that better? So Check one, two, one, two. Is anybody out there? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> is anybody out there? What is that? It's a Pink Floyd reference. Oh. Yeah. What song is that? Uh, is anybody out there? <laughs> 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 hello, hello, hello. Um, okay. I was never. I wasn't into that when I was uh, young. <laughs> no, I was from comfortably numb. Oh, okay. Um, you guys, hey, check it out. We have a website. It's called HammerAndNailsPodcast.com. Yeah. What is it called? It's called HammerNailsPodcast.com, and it's freaking awesome. It's got all <laughs> kinds of cool stuff it's on it. It's newly revamped, and uh, we changed it up a bit, and uh, you should check it out. That's where you can get the awesome podcast player. It's got a whole bunch of features that you might not get on wherever else you might be listening to us, and uh, it's, it's really groovy, so you should check that out. It's groovy. <laughs> on that page. Well, I haven't heard that word in a while. Hammerandnailspodcast.com also has an Amazon link, peeps. You know what you could do with that? You can go onto Amazon, click our link to get there, and when you go shopping, we get a little teeny, teeny, teeny little commission that helps us pay towards the costs of the podcast. And you know what? You know what? It's a really good time to get on Amazon, too, because they got, like, really quick shipping, and there are some really cool things that you can get for mom. If you haven't done your Mother's Day shopping yet, but God help you, I, th- I hope you that you have, because yeah. don't be like me, because I still haven't. <laughs> right. So you know yeah, what? I'm doing that tomorrow. You know what I'll do? Oh, on, uh, God. I will I'll save it for the last minute. What's with that? You always do that. I save everything for the last minute. Cause that's because I have like 30,000 things going well, on at busy. once. You're busy. Stop and shaking the, the table. And then I realize like a 10 minutes before I have to do something that I need to do it. And yeah. Then I, and then I do it real fast. Yeah. Well, you know what I'll do? But I never hear you complain though. You always get good gifts. I do. Even last minute. You yes. never know the last minute, but they are. They're like. Yes, I know. Like, I do know. Yeah. I do know. <laughs> really? I'm an investigator. You forgot. <laughs> I know everything. But you know what? That's when you get the extra really good gifts. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. What am I going to get? Yeah. Just get the good stuff. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with the good stuff. Yeah. So you know what I'll do is I'll put some uh, suggestions on the episode summary where people can clink, clink, where people can click <laughs> directly onto a link. Oh, you know what? Clink would be click on a link. Yeah. I just made that shit up. Yeah, that's awesome. (laughs) Clink. Yeah, baby, clink. Click on the link. Yeah, so clink clink on on uh, on the clickable link that I put on our episode summaries. You know what? Amazon Prime is $99 a year, and when you pay that one fee of $99 a year, not only do you get like unlimited like music and movies and television shows that you can watch but you also get free two-day shipping on everything you order nah. and ever since i signed up for that shit everything comes from free amazon i mean like l- l- how shipping. many boxes are behind me right now of shit that just keeps coming good god every day people you have no idea what goes on here at the bedell house it's like a parade basically <laughs> it just starts somewhere like late morning and it just continues on till around dinner time and it's just everything from the postal service to UPS to FedEx. The other DHL? day, DHL came. Skip, I, I, I forgot the there home. even is a DHL. I, like, yeah, like, I know, really? I know. I had ordered something uh, that I want to talk about from uh, England, and it got here in one day. But I got an email saying it was coming and that it needed a signature. And Skip was about to go to Home Depot and pick up something for our new outdoor kitchen, and instead. I made him stay home all day, and he very oh, kindly obliged. Fuck the, and he no. was literally home all day. I was not. <laughs> they came at not, night I after I not, got home. I was not happy about that. <laughs> after I, I got not, home. I was, I was in my truck running errands, doing stuff, and on the way to the depot because I had a whole project planned of things I was going to do, which I wound up doing today, by the way. And, um, and, and I get the call. No, I got a text, a text from you saying, oh, by the way, uh, DHL is coming um, today, 
Yeah. And they need a signature, so make sure that you're home. And I'm like, make sure that I'm home. Yeah. But I'm not home, and I, and I need to go get stuff to so I can work. You're such a fucking awesome husband, though. You really are. Oh, you didn't even God. question it. You just stayed home and you waited for the package. That yeah, I, I was, was not feeling awesome. I was feeling. I, I was like, I I, and figures the dude didn't come till like After six I o'clock. Yeah. I could have. I could have like, done everything. I could have rebuilt the whole freaking house like you know <laughs> i could have gone to depot 20 times and Thank got you. shit and come back you know what it just occurred to me what we should acknowledge i got stuff done here anyway but i didn't get done what i wanted to do because i needed to get stuff you know yeah yeah okay well I, I, what i was just saying was that we should acknowledge and apologize for that last podcast people it's my fault it's all your fault it's my fucking fault um that was like all those crackles and pops crackles whatever the fuck it is and it's my fault and what happened is that we had noticed there's like a variety of things that happens every once in a while so we had noticed first couple of months ago there was some like skipping going on like some words would just be missing and we had to figure out why that happened and i solved that problem and then we were getting some crackling and we had to figure out why that happened so Long story short, I had to lower a, a, a slide on the mixer. There's a lot and, of technical stuff yeah. going on. But well, anyway. I, I raised it back up just a little bit because I thought the podcast episode before that one was just a little too low. So I raised it up a little bit, and you guys had to suffer through that shit, the whole episode of Crackles. So I it was the crackle episode. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to apologize for that. Snap crackle. I know. Pop, I knew I would get some texts about it, like some Facebook posts and some private and messages. You? Yeah, people. They're, they're like, yeah. What's uh, what's yeah. with the sound effects, people man? Like, Please make it stop. And I know. Yeah. I know. I'm so sorry. We call call that episode the Rice Krispie episode. <laughs> Snap I crackle know. pop. I know. I feel really bad. So sorry, peeps. Yeah. So anyway, um, what you were waiting for, I wanted to share this with the ladies because I know they're going to be super, super, super stoked about this. Super stoked? Super fucking stoked. What about the because, guys? Um, well, well, they're going to be excited when they look at the ladies who follow my advice. Why are you always like leaving the guys out? Well, the guys can do this, um, don't but I don't think they're going to want to. Right. Unless I was actually contemplating today doing it to you. What? Um, I had I had bought these hair extensions. <laughs> <laughs> and um okay so i was on instagram and i saw chloe kardashian had these uh hair extensions in and and she was talking about them so i did some research into it and i said you know what i think i should get these too because before we started getting into filming the show when they made me bleach my hair all over it it hasn't been growing long since because it's bleached and it breaks off and so but it looks good uh, yeah, I know, but it's not as long as it was, and and it's like three, four inches shorter than it was, and it's because it just breaks because it's bleached. Right. So I bought hair extensions, but good ones that you cannot detect are on your head, and they are so super easy to put on. They're real hair. They look amazing. Reasonable price, and I am I haven't worn them yet though. I put them on, but I haven't worn them out yet. So I'm going to uh, wait before I before I put it all out there, but um, it's very exciting. I'm <laughs> very <laughs> fucking excited that I can have, like, really, really long hair in a fucking instant. I am on the edge of my seat. And I was actually thinking how fucking cute it would be if I can tack them onto your head. Yeah, well, you should probably rethink that because <laughs> that's not going to work out too good for you. But it would, I just think about how fucking funny that would be, though. You have to <laughs> just let me do it so you can just amuse me. Oh, it would God. be so cute if I could put them on all around your head and you'd be like, you look like a rocker with long hair. With an ombre. It would, <laughs> with an ombre. I'd look like uh, the Halloween costume. Yes. I, yeah. Well, yeah, you had a mullet. I, I, yeah, I, could, I have my mullet wig. I don't need yes. your hair extensions. Yes. No, I'm, well, yeah. you know what? I'm going to put them on you anyway because it's going to I look think that we should go out and I should wear my mullet wig and you should wear your, your foot-long hair extensions. They're and, 24 inches long. They're mm, two feet long. Uh, well, it, it adds like a foot to what you already have, right? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, at least, yeah. 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 So That's I'm really excited hair. about it. it. It's very, very long, but you can also curl it. And when you when you curl it, it'll make it bring it up a little bit, make uh -huh. it look a little bit shorter than it the, than it is when it's straight. Right. So I'm really excited about that because so much stuff uh, you girls do. I mean, it's like yeah. all like the makeup and the yeah. stuff and the hair. Well, what what, the what is really hair. groundbreaking? I'm so glad I'm not a girl. Oh my What's god. What's exciting about this is because it's not just for like rich people anymore because you used to get um extensions like sewn into your head like Britney Spears used to have it. Mm -hmm. Get them sewn into my scalp. <laughs> 
Britney Spears. I don't know. You remember when she had that meltdown when she started swinging something at the photographer and then she shaved her head. She, her, yeah. she shaved her head bald. Yeah. And it was because she, she was like her. It was bothering her head so much having these things sewn onto her head, and that's when she shaved her head. So it's not like that anymore. You don't have to sit in a salon for hours and have these things put onto you. You, I literally, what? How, it took me five minutes last night to put all of the pieces into my head, and they looked amazing. <laughs> Put all the pieces into your head. That's great. <laughs> so anyway, so and they were reasonably priced, and they look amazing, and they blend in with your hair. So it's very fucking exciting because if you really wish to have nice long hair, yeah, you can have it in five minutes. Yeah, and I'm really excited about and it. And you know what? I know all the girls are getting really excited about this, but for you guys, I don't want you to feel left out. They are also making clip-on back hair <laughs> extensions. No, that the you can, bun, yeah, the man bun. Yeah, and you can get clip-on ass hair extensions at. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, you know, because like I mean, they have I, a man butt on Groupon. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have any back hair or ass hair, so I'm feeling a little left out. So I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I could put one of these extensions in the crack of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god, I would love to do that. You'll have a tail. Oh, that's great. <laughs> wow. You'll have an ombre tail. All I know is I'm going to be holding on to those things like handlebars. So. Well, yep. don't pull them out. <laughs> I hope they stay. That won't be too sexy. I hope they stay in good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm really excited about it, and I and like I mean, like really, really excited about it, which is why I want the the girls to get excited about it too, because I've always wanted ladies. to have something like that, and mm. it was always just something that was just not attainable. Yeah, but it it it's. It is now, and they're really, really high quality, and they're very flat, like close to the head. They're very low profile. You can't tell that you have them in, so it's just so easy to do this. I'm very excited. I am very excited to see them in. <sighs> yeah. Because yeah, I've been hearing about this shit for a long time, so. Yeah. And now so, they finally came from from England. They came from England, and then they got, they got in one the day I got them. The pond. Yeah, they, they got sent right, right away, then they went to Germany, and then from Germany they went to Kennedy Airport, and from Kennedy Airport they got sent over here 6 p.m. You actually track them like Yeah, because I couldn't wait to get them. Yeah. And plus because we had to sign for them, so it was really annoying. Oh. So anyway, so Anno- I have... Annoying not for you, for me. Mm, you're a good husband. Yeah. Damn right and you I know am. I would do it for you. Don't forget it. I never forget it. All right, first then. thing on my mind every day when I That's wake right. up. Better be the first thing and the last thing too. Always. And everything in between. It is. <laughs> just your whole shit. Yeah, just the You're whole thing. You're everything. Just the whole thing. You're yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. Right. So listen to this. I didn't tell you. <laughs> listen to what <laughs> sure. happened to me yesterday. Um. Oh God, it was it was kind of traumatic. So I'm at work, just minding my own business, and somebody asked me for help with this computer in another room. Whoa. Um, because I happen to use this other computer a lot, so I'm very familiar with it. So uh, this person comes in to get me and asks me for help with this thing. So I follow this person out into this other room. It's just a one room alone, which is like its purpose is to have this one computer in it. So huh. it's like in a separate place where nobody else is. So I walk, I follow this person into that room, and now the computer is on the far side of this room. So now I walk to the far side of this room to get over to that computer to see what's wrong with it and when i got to the end of the room and i got to the computer and i inhaled i sucked in a full fucking lingering fart that was there oh no (laughs) i hate the that's so messed up that you just said that because that just happened to me today this morning in the gym yes oh my god you just stole my whole bit i cannot believe you just killed my bit I can't. Bl- I was gonna just talk about that. Somebody blew me out the same way in the gym. Like I, I went to go use and a machine. Nobody was there, right? No, there was like I get there really, really early, and there's like nobody there, and there's like three people in the whole gym, including me and the bitch behind the desk. So, so now I'm looking at this dude, and I'm like, really, really, guy, really, you fucking animal. What the funny thing about it is that. I can't. I, I can't even imagine that they would assume that it would linger the way that it did. You know, you'd think like walking away, and then oh, some yeah. time passed. Oh, you know, yeah. no, no. This this that is the one. That, this was, is the one that you don't walk oh, away. You run from this one. Yeah. At yeah. The, it was at this computer. You run. I mean, it was like it was like a wall of fart. Like all of a sudden, I broke the wall of fart. You know what? Maybe it might have been the person that came to get you to help them while it they was. were there. No, that's who it was. It was it was that person. Oh. 
That person was there trying to work out the computer. It didn't work. That person came to get me. I followed. I went to the desk, and the fart was there, and I knew that it belonged to that person because nobody else was there. Oh, how the what? Yes. So now when I see that person, I'm going to think of this fart. Serious? I'm going to associate this person with a fart. Why would you not? Like, what? Why wouldn't you wait till that? It's almost like here. Can you come help? Come over here. It's almost like you get it on purpose. Yeah, come with me and smell this fart. (laughs) (laughs) That is so messed up, man. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, it was really bad. See, like I'm in the gym. I didn't even know this dude. You know, like in fact, I don't even know that I've ever even seen him in the gym. You know, so. Uh. But this is like somebody you work with every yes, day. Yes, can I tell you that even for minutes after, I felt it in my lungs. Oh, it was almost like I couldn't no. expel it. Oh. It was like I felt it in there. It was like it was it was in me. Yeah, it had it had like those like, ass like particles stuck in were in my lungs. Like, <laughs> 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 had lungs full of ass. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta keep clearing your throat. And then my breath would smell like a oh, fart. Oh, no. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Do not kiss me. Don't come near me. So wow, bad. man. Yeah. I'm just looking at you right now, thinking how like off the chart sexy you look today, and now you're telling me that you have a coworker's fart breath. It was yesterday. Are you still you still can taste it? No. <laughs> it took like about a good 10 minutes though till wow. I felt like it was gone. Oh, that is so disgusting. Yeah, because I mean like I didn't expect it so I was just breathing normal and Did I got you a say full anything? inhale. No. Are you serious? I would have totally been no. like I would have been like, yeah. No. Really? Guys, guys do that. Really, guys, dude? a guy would do that. Oh yeah, man. If you're going to make me come back there and suck <laughs> on your on your ass air, you're no. going to hear it from this me. This person was older. And I didn't want to embarrass. Oh, it's somebody like, who I really like, uh, so I didn't want to embarrass. Oh, no. Yeah. I knew it would have been embarrassing. Oh, I didn't want to do that. No, that's not good. No, no. So it was. That's just, a really uncomfortable spot, because now you're forced there to you know, to sit there and inhale it and, and pretend like you don't notice it, and you don't even want to say anything, because you don't want to make them feel bad. Right. So meanwhile, I've got you're fart in my You're worse than me. Lung. Like, I won't say stuff to people, because I don't want to make them feel bad, and, it, and at my own expense. Right, yes. then that's just what you did. Yes, there was like that time when I told you when I was fat back in like in the in the nineties. Yeah, and um, somebody, I went to visit my great aunt who was in like a you know hospice or whatever, and there was a nurse there, and she asked me when I was due, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and because I felt weird to embarrass her, she doesn't feel like like oh sweetie you got twins in there I congratulations said, I, I said May. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> It was so awkward. <laughs> oh, God. You actually said you were due, like you were having uh, yeah. a baby? Yeah. Having my baby. <laughs> what a lovely way oh, to God. see how much you love me. Farting out a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, what a fucking stupid song. Oh, yo, I can't believe that story. And, 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 and the fact that, like, I had the same story. I, I queued up, ready to tell you yeah. about the gym. I stole your fart. <laughs> you did, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wow, man. Yeah. I, you know that's what. What is with people? You know, like I, I have to tell you today. You know, I again today. It happened to me again today. With I went to go do some work, and this has happened a number of times on job sites and. Always when, like, you need to go get something from the lumber yard or the depot or the wherever it is, and you get back to the job and you get halfway through putting, installing whatever it is you went to go get, and then you realize that a part is missing. And then you look at the box and you also realize that somebody had already purchased this and returned it, and the ass wipe that's at the service return desk in whatever store it might be just threw it back in the cart so it goes back on the shelf. Not they didn't throw it in the bin to go back to the vendor or damaged or whatever. They they're just fucking lazy. Yeah. So today I'm doing this plumbing project, right? Where I'm taking apart the whole waste system in the house. Waste everything's cut, pipes undone, water's off, the whole deal. Poop pipe. Poop pipe, no less. Yeah. You don't want to mess with that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm teeing in a new waistline into this existing waste because we're, we're setting up this outdoor kitchen now. So there's a sink out there and the whole thing. And it's very complicated because 
the the elevation of where the waste pipe comes out of that sink is below where our waste pipe is in the house. Similar to where if you were to uh, finish your basement and have a bathroom in the basement, the toilet and the shower and, and all that going down into the floor is below where your waistline is. So you have to use what they call an ejection pump. And a sewage ejection pump basically is a sump pump. It's like a barrel, like an enclosed container, and water goes into it. And when it reaches a certain level inside, it's all enclosed, you know, but when the water reaches a certain level, it, it has like a float inside of it. And that float floats up and it kicks on a switch. And then that water can go up high. Like you could pump it 10 feet up in the air to get to wherever it is that the pipe is. Mm-hmm. So I had to install this whole pump system down in the basement for this sink. Very involved job. And there's one particular part that I'm installing in it. It's called a, fl- a check valve, which basically allows water to go one way, but it won't allow it to come back. And that's the water that's coming out of that pump. It's going straight up in the air. And when the pump stops, whatever's left in the pipe, you don't want it to come back down. So it has a flapper in the valve, and it only goes one direction. I got the whole thing apart, everything. I'm wiring the pumps in, new switches, pipes, everything. I go to put in the check valve. I tighten everything up. It's all done. I flip the thing on, and I test it. And water comes spraying out of the side of this thing like 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 there was a, a like a, a squirt hole coming out of the side of it. I look at it, and there's a perfectly round little hole about maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Someone must have installed this thing somewhere and some either inside a wall or whatever, and somebody put a screw through it. Whatever happened, but there was a perfect hole like drilled in the side of this, which you couldn't see unless you saw the water streaming yeah. out of it, you know? After you got done doing all the work, so I, soldering I, or whatever. I, everything, man. PVC gluing, cutting, piping, priming, and, you know, welding together all the glue joints. With, and it's a lot of work. Now I got to hack this whole thing out of here. I got to cut all the pipes that I just did, redo everything, take the thing out, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at the box, and I can tell the box is a little bit tattered. Yeah. And there's actually a red mark. There's a mark on it, like somebody circled it. Like they brought it back to the store and showed there was a, a hole punched through the side of it. And whoever it was that got this fucking thing just said, oh, what? let's just put it back on the <laughs> shelf. That's the second time that happened to you, right? Because there was a, what was the other thing that you bought? Uh, I was installing. It was an open box. I was installing a faucet yeah. on one of my customers uh, in, in the kitchen. And I got the whole thing done. And, you know, it's, it's underneath the kitchen sink is a pain in the ass. Like when I install uh, faucets on sinks, usually with new counters, we do it before we drop the sinks in. It's a lot easier to connect all the supply lines. And now they have all the spray hose built into the, to the, the handle that pulls out. Um, so anyway, I got that whole thing. I'm working on my back in this tiny little cabinet. Upside down, you know, hands crammed inside the inside the cabinet, smashing my knuckles on the side of everything, trying to turn the wrench, get it all in there. One more little plastic little connector has to go in to, to connect the spray hose to the rest of the, the whole faucet. And it's not there. It's gone. And that is somebody was doing that same job with that same faucet, and either they dropped it down a somewhere, they lost it, or they broke it or something. So they decided to return that thing, go get another one, and just packed it up and got their money back and not ever said anything. It's It doesn't work without that little plastic piece. Oh, God. So now I got to stop what I'm doing, get in my truck. Of course, it's the middle of the day, lunchtime, so there's crazy traffic. It takes me there and back two hours to, to go and get this little one-inch plastic little coupling connector. That sucks. Yeah. So this is basically, uh, this is what happened to me again today. What happened when you went back there? Oh, I fucking, I, I screamed at them. I'm like, I'm like, I, what is wrong with you people? You cannot, like, there's a, there's a person here that's at the, at, the, at, the, at the register for returns. That's all they do is take stuff back. Their job is to take things back, right, and refund people money. There's a reason why it's coming back. Either it's damaged or whatever. So... Figure it out. Open up the box. They right. should. They, they don't. They, they take should, your word for yeah, it. Yeah, they should. Oh, they, yeah, because they always ask you, "Is there anything wrong yeah. with it?" Oh, okay. There's not. They, I, you yeah. can. You see always it. say no because you yeah. just want them to take it back. Yeah, yeah. There, and there's a couple of bins there. There's the back on the shelf bin, you know, yeah. and then which uh, Billy Bob comes around every about twenty minutes and reels that cart back into the department and puts the shit back on the shelf, right? right. And then there's the fucked up bin that goes back. To, it goes in the garbage, or they bring it back to the vendor or whatever. Every single time, it just goes back on the shelf. Yeah. 
And I'm always the one that gets stuck with it. You know what? That's your own fucking fault for not opening the box before you bought it. Uh, you know, I usually you, do. You, you should have learned your I, lesson. I usually do. Now I'm. That's the ha- same shit as when people I am are like, the "Oh, now. you had a contractor that screwed you over." No, people. It's the homeowner that didn't check to yeah. make sure that the guy was licensed. I, I, That's you. You yeah. should have known better. I am. I do, I do know better, and I am in the habit now of opening. I, I just undo every single box when I get to the register. Basically, everything's just unpacked. There's styrofoam flying everywhere. <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, "Is this? Did you just get this, or are you returning this?" I'm like, "No, no, I'm, I'm buying it." <laughs> I just took it all apart. Yeah. That's some frustrating shit. Yeah. Yeah. I would have just plugged up that hole. Yeah. If you're returning something, people, tell the the half-wit behind the register (laughs) to throw it in the fucking garbage or something. Tell them, don't put this back on the shelf. There's something wrong with it. It's broken. It's missing parts. And even if you broke it, just say it. you got it broken. It was already broken. Oh, oh, they'll take it back. Good God. Bastards. Yeah. So now, I mean, man, I had, I had, a, I had all, you know, PVC pipes, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's got to be cut. You need to put a primer on it. You need to put a contact cement and glue it. It's a whole process to, I mean, you smelled the glue when you came home, oh, right? Oh, God, yeah. It smelled like somebody was huffing. It's a whole process to, to glue PVC waste pipe. And, um, you know, you get all those little pieces cut perfectly the size and everything's got to have a pitch on it. And so the water runs. It's all done right. I go to flip the thing on and water's pissing out the side of it. Like that blows. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was a basement. Their basement was all wet on the floor. Oh, yeah. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So that that was my fun day. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Well. Um, I love return stuff. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I wanted to update you on some things that uh, you didn't find out about in the news because you were so busy working on the uh, household. Yeah, I was today. returning plumbing parts and smelling <laughs> other people's farts. So that's pre- <laughs> pretty, pretty much the uh, that, that sums up my whole day. Yeah. I hope you guys all had a better day than me out there, people. Yeah. <laughs> people were just smelling their own farts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so oh. I had heard, and I don't know if this is going to come to be, but there, there's this story out there that uh, Caitlyn Jenner is going to be posing nude for Sports Illustrated. Oh, good God. Because it's coming up on the 40th anniversary of the gold medal. So she will be wearing an American flag and the medal. Are you kidding me? Nope. Nope. Did, all right. I, I, don't, I don't really follow. I know that, that he's a she and the, the whole deal. Is he is he fully a she? Did you know he... what? I don't know. Does, I any, does thought, anybody know? I thought that you have to have had the penis removed in order to have a legal sex change because you can't have a penis, and I, I would think, and be classified as a woman. I don't know. Uh, I have to do some more research into that. I don't like to assume yeah. things. My assumption is that you can't, but um, I don't. I didn't hear solid. So what, like, pose nude where? Is that like a Playboy? Play, sports I mean, Illustrated. Oh, Sports Illustrated. Oh, oh yeah, you said that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I was so focused on thinking about, uh, I don't even know what to say. She got some big he titties. Or she or she. 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 It's she. she. Yeah. She's got some big titties. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't want to see him. And, and uh, you know I'm a big fan of the I don't think t- they're going to show the titties, but it's going to be. Well, what the hell kind of nude picture is that? I know. What? <laughs> what the With an American flag. Okay. So um, so she go, she's going to be naked but wrapped in the flag so you can't see anything. I anyway. guess so. I don't Which know. is fine with me, by the way, because I really don't want to see any of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she is like 66, I think. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, okay. hey, you know what? More power to you. All righty, then. Whatever. Yeah. I, I don't need to see it. Though. I'm going to just smack you upside your head if you don't what, stop what? knocking into this table. I'm going to, just for that, I'm going to have to knock it again. Oh, my God. What about this I'm now? trying to, I'm trying what, to keep what? all the, all the things that could possibly fuck this? up the sound. What about this? Oh, boy. That's uh, your boy. What about this? What about this? That's a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> That's uh, my Hercules. Yeah. What's up, big boy? You come to see daddy? Oh, oh he's so good. Um, so what's the, what's in the news? What's going on? So in you know how in uh, Vegas they have these like uh, type of things you can do adventure type things, and there's a zip line there. There's lots of adventures yeah. in Vegas. Right. Well, there's this thing outside, <laughs> Most of which you don't talk about. Um, 
Right. Yeah. It stays in Vegas. Yeah. Well, there's a zip line outside somewhere in the middle of Vegas, and um, this uh, teenager was doing the zip line with the crowd underneath. You know, like you could stand, you watch everybody doing the zip line. Right. And he thought it would be funny to piss while he was zip lining. No. He pissed all over the people underneath. Uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It was. I, I was thinking when I first read it. I'm thinking, oh, the kid had an accident because he was scared. Nope, it was a prank. Like he did it on purpose. That's crazy. Yeah. What a beating that kid needs. <laughs> right. I think they're contemplating charges. I'm <sighs> thinking like I'm just going to be running as fast as I can and chasing him this to get to the end point when he gets off that zip line. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. There that was reminds a- me. I told you the story of what happened when we went to go see that concert, right? I'm going to tell you about that. What? No. I, w- I went to go see a concert at uh, at Jones Beach Theater. When? At, pff, I don't know. What, like, before I met you. I wasn't with you. I was just thinking, like, as a kid or, like, as an adult? No, no, no. Like, like what? Um, I'm going to say uh, eight eight years ago. Okay. Um, and so you're with Douchebag. A douchebag or Asshole. What, okay. what, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So but fun. most definitely not the cunt. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be it could be cunt do beggar <laughs> asshole. It's so funny. You have like nicknames for all my exes. All my exes live in Texas. Not that one though. <laughs> all right, so we're at the we're at the at the Jones Beach Theater, which is by the way is an awesome venue to see concerts, right? It's an out, if you guys don't know about it, it's, it's an outdoor uh, concert venue, like right on the beach, and it's just awesome. But anyway, at these things, you know, if you've ever been to a concert like that at a stadium venue to where the seats are all kind of like the seat behind you is higher and so on and so on, you know, if somebody spills something behind you a couple rows back, chances are you're getting oh, wet, no, right? Like it this. runs down the down the steps and under your seat. Next thing you know, like you're standing in a puddle, right? So I'm watching this concert and, you know, everybody, we're all standing. I, we, it was pretty close, I'm, I'm maybe like 10 rows back from the front. So everybody's standing and just kind of jam packed and, and loud and stuff. And I had shorts on because it was summertime, and I felt this splashing on the back of my leg. And you know, it, it, everybody's got a beer it's or whatever. Beer and and, shit like yeah, that. they're dropping stuff, and you know, it happens all the time. And most of the time, you don't even think about it, right? And if you had jeans on, you wouldn't even realize until you right. got home. You got a stain on your leg. So I happen to look down, and I'm like, I'm looking for the cup that hit the floor, <laughs> and it's this fucking asshole standing behind me that evidently was completely drunk, and he's just standing there taking a piss on the <laughs> on the floor right you know on the cement underneath my seat but in front of him oh, and it, so it hit the concrete and then splashed up in the air and hit uh, me on the back of my legs uh, all over my like a cast of my legs and my shoes everything right well needless to say I chased this motherfucker for about 20 rows through the whole place security sees me chasing him I, want, I, I, I tried very hard to catch him, but he ran real fast. And he still had his pants, like, unzipped. He's holding his pants up with one hand. He's still got his beer in the other hand. What? This fucker, yeah. And he's running, man. And we're running through the crowd. Security got a hold of him. They got me. And they thought we were fighting and stuff. They took us both down to the security office. And I told them what happened. The head super, the big manager, whatever the place comes out, and he takes me into a separate room. We wanted to make sure we weren't fighting. I'm like, look, I don't know this guy. I told him what happened. I had really good seats, expensive seats and everything. And um, he's like, all right, we'll, we'll take care. You want to press charges? And I'm like, no, nah, I, I, I don't want to press charges. I'm just like, you know, something something needs to happen to this guy, you know? Like, he needs to be thrown out of here or something. So I'm thinking that he got a lot worse than thrown out because, mm. yeah, they took him back in some security office and uh, I never saw him again. And I'm thinking, because, you know, they got, they got like the, uh, the yellow jackets, you know, the security guards at those concerts. Yeah. And those are all like, you know, like bouncer type of dudes that are yeah. there for crowd control. Yeah. I'm thinking this guy probably got like the, <laughs> the life beat out of him. I don't know. But all I know is uh, that I, I got uh, well, splashed. You're in a sterile. What? You're in a sterile. I don't care, man. <laughs> so, all right. That made me feel much better. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Would, would, is that, would that even enter your mind if somebody no. pissed on your leg? No I'd, no. I'd punch him in the face. Yeah, which I attempted to do, but I couldn't catch the little bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was faster than me. That sucks. I don't know how he ran so fast being that drunk, but, man, he did. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right, so what do we got? Uh, what else is going on in the world? Oh, my God. You have to take a look at this. 
There is this Chinese baby that was born with polydactylism. Um, polydactyly, I think <laughs> it's when you've got more extra fingers and toes. Oh, let me see that. Take account of that. Holy. <laughs> what? The... Start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, yeah. Eight toes on one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the other. Now count this. Hold nine on. toes on one foot, eight toes on the other. Wow. Okay, five. Oh, sh- whoa. Nope. <laughs> Those are extra fingers. Five, six fingers on one hand, and one, two, three, four, five. Wow. And that bigger hands is the mother. It's hereditary. Oh, man. Yeah. So that, meanwhile, that is funky looking. Yeah. Some yeah. of them are not even like fully, they're, yeah. they're kind of like, like a branch. Yeah. And they're, he doesn't have thumbs on his hands. So they're going to have to do reconstructive surgery and make one of those fingers a thumb. Uh-huh. I mean, because that's like, can you, not having a thumb? Poor thing. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, like, when you look at it, it's like, it's crazy. It's like you think, oh, that would be the forefinger. Wait, no, that would be the forefinger. Like, is that the real thought? Which is the? There's so many fingers. That and then if you bring... get engaged, which one do you put the ring on? <laughs> see, now you're thinking about. <laughs> you're thinking about. See, see how differently we think. You're thinking about which finger do you put the ring on? And you're like, and how do I hold a hammer? <laughs> I'm, no, no, no. I'm thinking about that would take fisting to a whole other place. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking about, who? where do we put the wedding ring? I'm thinking about magic getting fisted with that thing, man. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, those feet. That's like a catcher's mitt. Yeah, those feet are like a fan. I mean, it's, it's just like yeah. a, a big spread. Holy God. It almost looks like two feet in one. Like, oh, God. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so that that was pretty exciting. I, you know, it's, it's, I think it's always fun to see... Like what is he, that called? Pterodactylism? Polydactyly oh, d- pol- or something. <laughs> I think it's always fun seeing like human anomalies, you know, like with the uh, like Siamese twins or people people that got too many of something or not enough. I don't know. <laughs> the guy with two dicks. Two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you heard us talking about that guy like in prior podcast. That, yeah. That's that's like that's a real thing. Is there, yeah. Do you know what that guy's name is? No, I don't even think it's public. He has a book out though. Yeah, but he? it's anonymous. Well, how, how how does he have a book out and not, not know his name? Like, what is it's it just a, called? The man like with a, two dicks? Like, no, what, it's it? like I think he's got like a like a pseudonym, pseudonym, uh, whatever. You uh, know what I mean? I'm uh, having yeah. such a loss for words tonight. I can't uh, think of the right words. You're, it's he, part of my memory. He's loss. got an alias. Yeah, yeah. I, I have like some serious. I've been taking those memory pills every day, two uh, a day, and whoa. I don't. I and I've got the hormone replacement. You're building a tolerance up. <laughs> I am I, because I feel like it's not working now. I feel like I'm. I, I can't think of words again. I'm losing my fucking eyesight. I you're just, I'm you're, getting t- t- you're carpal just, tunnel. You're probably just tired. You know, like like shit happens. You get like tired weeks, right? At what point do am I not tired? And it's just I have a bad fucking memory. I'm getting like Alzheimer's or something. No, I don't think so. I hope not. No, I, I don't want to forget who you are. <laughs> Will you oh, take care of me? Of course. Will you pluck my hairs growing in funky places when I can't see them anymore? I will change your shitty diapers and everything. And will All... you pluck my face too, though? Oh, yeah. Because hair is going to start growing in places Absolutely. where it doesn't belong. Absolutely. I, I mean, I can't promise that your eyebrows are going to look the way they do right now. If I do. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a couple of bull spots. <laughs> Make sure you get my stash and my, my, my beard. You're going you're gonna to look like uh, Fu Manchu. <laughs> You'll have like a full goatee. Oh no, <laughs> baby, no! Uh, don't worry, I won't let you go out like that. Please don't, yeah. please don't, because I. I'll promise just keep you, you locked in the house for my amusement. I. <laughs> I won't let anybody up. see I you. I promise like that. you, there will be hairs in places that you don't know about. Oh, all right. Because I take care of them now. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good to know. Oh God! That's man. pretty funny because he just got hair extensions. And like, it's I like, know you want to extend one hair, but like you want to like pluck the uh, pluck the other. Yeah, I gotta okay. go. I gotta go get some laser. It's so hair much easier again. being a man. Oh my god. Yeah. Have to worry about like tampons and makeup yeah. and yeah, and, uh, mood swings and hot flashes and yep. and, and 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 all this stuff you girls go through. <sighs> oh, good lord. So 
There is this article about, because I knew this shit was going to start coming up, or at least it was going to, it probably, I know it already happens, but now it's like making these news articles. that In Texas, this man follows a woman into the bathroom to check her gender because <laughs> she was dressed like a man. So look at her, though. She's a cute little dyke, right? She's cute. Okay. Like, she looks like a girl, but uh, she's wearing a baseball hat backwards, but she's a girl dressed okay. like a boy. Okay. Um... And so now this fucking man follows her into the bathroom, like making like he's going to save the day. Meanwhile, she's thinking she's going to get attacked because this guy is following her save into the, the bathroom. Save the day from what? She wants to go take a dump or something. What's she, what she going to do? Like blow the world up? Like she's going to the this bathroom, guy. dude. So like, the, yeah. So this guy walks into the bathroom because he's suspicious of her, which reminded me of an incident actually that had happened when I was with my first girlfriend. We were at a, uh, a restaurant out east, and she had to go use the bathroom, and some guy confronted her at the, at the entrance of the bathroom. Really? Like, yeah, like what was, she, like, you know, because she, she had a short haircut, and she wore boy clothes, right. and she wore, like, a sports bra that kind of, fought, but she has boobs. She had normal boobs. Um so it was it was like a it was a fight like an argument like because the guy was like like you know what are you doing going in there and she's like you know like I'm a girl you yeah, but meanwhile she had a deep voice too you know? oh, sure. <laughs> she's like yeah I'm a girl I'm a girl can't you see my titties you want me to pull out my titties <laughs> But yeah, I know. So I know what it's like. I've been like, you know, personal witness to that happening. And um, it, it's and now that it's being like brought into the forefront, you know, uh, like as, as a fucking topic to discuss, you know, with yeah. all this, with that law passing in that state where you have to follow whatever the gender is on your birth certificate. Where's it down south somewhere, right? Some hillbilly fucking state. I don't know. It's just I, I'm just so disgusted by things like that, like. Um, cause you know, now that these, it, these morons are like, oh, well it's going to promote going into the wrong bathroom, like grown men with little girls, you know, like grown men who are like into little girls, they're not dressing like women, you know, like, mm. and, and little girls should be accompanied by a mommy in the bathroom anyway. You know, it's like, you should be alert anyway, going into a public restroom because who's to say that. Grown men only like little girls. Listen, Grown men like little boys too, motherfuckers. What about that? You know I'm how many little boys gonna... have gotten raped in bathrooms because there's grown men going in there and raping them and they didn't have an adult accompanying them? That yeah. happens. So it happens anyway. So this discrimination law isn't going to make things worse. This is already happening anyway. If there's a pedophile out there or somebody who wants to do harm to somebody, to a kid, they're going to do it. They're going to find a way to do it. And they're not going to dress like a lady to do it. Yeah. I'm thinking that we should just, uh, like, every place should just have a third bathroom, you know, for, like, the, the, yeah. like the he, she option. I totally agree. And, you know, that would really give, like, the whole construction industry a nice shot in the arm, too. Because think about it. Like, every restaurant, every place now is going to need a third bathroom. Can I tell you and that? Somebody could go out and build them. Please going to a baseball game that would help the ladies because there's always a long line at the ladies' room and there's never a line for the men. How many times have you been to a baseball game or a concert or something and the girls are running into the guys' room because yes. because you because like they just can't wait? Yes, I was at a club a couple of years back before you, actually. And the, yeah, there was a long line at the girls' room. So me and my friend, we went into the men's room and we went into the stall, and it was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but all the dudes are in there taking a leak at the urinals, and we went into the stall. I mean, like I couldn't fucking hold it, and so we went to the men's room. Huh? It's just the fucking toilet, right? You know, but it That's was it. disgusting. Yeah, well, Ugh. guys like to pee all over there. I know, men. You got to mark your territory, you know. <laughs> You girls do the same thing with like the, uh, you know, they got the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, maxi pad. Um, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What's the, the thing? We, I don't know. You got the whole dispenser thing going on in there. Like, you know. It's a it's a little garbage pail on the wall to put your pads. Yeah, but it, they don't always get in there. How do you know? Because I've been in the girls room. Why? I don't know. I, that's whatever. I, I've done. How do you know? I've Why done, are you in the Room. I've done work in these places. You know, I've worked at the airport and I've built a lot of things over mm, there, restaurants. Quit thinking. No, it's true. And I, it's uh, girls' rooms. Everybody are, is disgusting. And, like, men, as, women. Girl, it's every, just a different kind of disgusting. It is, but it's men are worse. 
Although, when we were at that studio the other day, we were talking to your producer friend there, yeah. and I had to go to the bathroom down the hall, yeah. and uh, there was a big note on the mirror, and it was like, um, like, ladies, if you could please, like, you know, be neater, and by neater, I mean somebody has been defecating on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best, like, when it's, like, on the rim, like, full but, rim. But, like, regularly, somebody has been regularly shitting on the toilet seats in that bathroom. Yeah. Gross. There, There is, like, I've seen, like, people that have just taken a full-blown dump on on the uh, on the <gasps> lid of the, on the back part oh. of the tank. On the, like, on the tank lid. Like, basically, that would require you standing on the seat. <laughs> Standing on the seat <laughs> and then squatting over the lid, over uh, the tank. God. Yeah. What is wrong with people? <laughs> Why? Because Why is people this are just they're they're animals. People are animals. Yeah. Ugh. It's it's like it's like the dude that was in the gym today that just, you know, had to just kill it and then and then, yeah, and just then, like my and, and then run away from it. Mm-hmm. He should have just like f- like stayed there and suffered through it until mm-hmm. it was gone. I wonder. And, 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 and then like waved everybody off like, listen, uh, no, you know, don't, don't come over yeah. here for a few minutes. I wonder if the coworker, no. once we returned to that computer, smelled the fart. No. And pro- said to not. that, said to themselves, uh-oh. <laughs> Realizing that I had to have been smelling it. Yeah, well, you know, I think like everybody kind of like you know like I would have passed. I would have been like, oh my god, do you smell that? Oh, it wasn't me. Wasn't me. I would have right. like if that was that person who who laid the fart. I would have been saying, oh my god, wasn't me. Right. There was like a classic line of fat bastard in uh, <laughs> in um, fat bastard, fat bastard <laughs> in uh, Austin Powers when he Get said, "In my belly." Yeah. And what do you say? Like uh, everyone likes their own recipe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's like you can totally tolerate your own stench. Yes. But like when it's someone else's, you just get, you got to run away from it. You know, so maybe like, I don't know, maybe they didn't, maybe they didn't think it was that bad. Or maybe when they came back, they didn't, they, maybe they, thought it they were like nose blind. You <laughs> yeah, know? maybe it was good. Yeah. That's a good one. <sighs> yeah, they should have sucked it all in so I didn't oh, have to smell it. Wow. So um, I'm very excited about this because having lived in California for a period of time now, it kind of changed me a bit in that they have a very different lifestyle over there. And they are much more green over there. They try to reduce their carbon footprint. And they do not have plastic bags at the grocery store for, like, they don't put things in bags like they do here. If you don't have a bag, they don't have plastic for one. They don't offer you plastic. And for two, if you want a paper bag, you have to pay for it, each bag. They just uh, signed in New York City now. It's going to cost five cents for a plastic or paper bag, though they're going to have plastic and paper according to this article. But it just got passed, um, five cents, and this is to encourage people to bring their own reusable bags. Uh huh. So I'm pretty psyched. Which I might add that we have about 50 yes. around the house and in the trunk of the car and everywhere Which else. Which I forget every yeah, time yeah, I walk yeah, into the yeah. store. But somehow or another, every single time, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, they stay in the you, car. You forget to take them. I have them. so many and I'm constantly buying and them. And then you but buy I for- another one. Like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, I must have left it home. And that's why we have like yeah. probably and I keep 50. buying new ones. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, because those plastic bags, they always end up around an animal's neck or, or they don't. They don't uh, degrade, you know, and they, they just really ruin the environment. It's really horrible. So it really is the best thing to to get your own bag. You can make or bring like a giant bag. quilt out of all of those things, like just <laughs> like stitch them all right. together. No, it really is. It's being it's 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 just really really saves the earth tremendously if everybody just stopped using those plastic bags. So I'm pretty psyched about that because it's just a little bit of progress over here and and why. I've I've already uh, I'm, I'm working on recycling. I'm actually uh, using condoms twice or three times. You know, just with re- who? recycling them. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> with with you? Oh yeah, we don't use them. <laughs> right. I just think that's a great idea though. You should start there. I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? So, I mean, you could you could probably like wring it out and reuse it. I don't know. You probably could. <laughs> It'll probably stink though. <sighs> That's gross. Oh. oh, you can just get them for free, like in a parking lot on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, God. When I was... Right next to the uh, syringes. <laughs> when I was a teenager, me and my ex, who you know, uh, fellow DJ, um, 
we used to go in this parking lot behind a church. Oh, that's a good place to go and do it. But there would be other like used condoms outside, but they weren't ours, but there was back there. People were going back there to fuck and there was used condoms back there, back of the church. It was gross. That's where everybody went to go do it behind yeah. the church. Cause it was kind of private back there. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. You're like in God's backyard. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You are so going to hell for that. I know. Yeah. <sighs> You're going to burn. Yeah. So, um, did, did you hear about the thing about uh, 50 Cent? Uh, no. Oh, man. He was in an airport and saw some kid working there pushing some cart of something. And he took a look at the kid and determined that the kid was, quote, high as a motherfucker. So he starts recording him on his phone Following the kid, like, in front of him as he's walking, as he's pushing this cart, and he's like, yo, man, he's like, you are you are high as a motherfucker, and, and he's, like, talking about how, and he can work like this, can you believe this, look at this kid, and he's, like, focusing on his face, and the kid's, like, you know, like, shaking his head, like, and he's, like, in, like embarrassed, and he's, like, looking down, he's, like, he, he's, like, he looked really nervous. All right. Um, so then he posts this video on oh, Instagram. Man. Mocking this kid who he claims is, you know, high as fuck because he looks like he's high. Well, it turns out the kid is autistic and has, um, like, social uh, anxiety. Oh, God. Yeah. So. Well, that's going to do him a lot of good. Yeah. <laughs> he's completely fucked now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, so um, <laughs> when this came out, 50 Cent was not looking very good after, like, mocking this kid. So what he did was then donate $100,000 to some autistic foundation. And he actually, I'm sure somebody wrote it for him, but there was a, a very well-versed um, apology and um, saying, you know, we sh people should support this, uh, you know, cause or whatever. But so he, he tried to make up for it, but because it did look pretty bad. Wow. It was, it, the video is now on YouTube, you know, because even though he took it off of Instagram, people already copied it and posted it elsewhere. So you can see it online. Right. But so then they interviewed the kid in this, uh, this news, this news station interviewed the kid and his parents. And he was like. I'm a good person and I'm a good worker. Oh, and, you know, God. And it was, oh my. Oh, and he was like, you know, no. he was, the kid was like a little fucked up, you know, like, and it, it was, it was oh. sad. You know, it was, oh, man. yeah, it was rough. Way back. to go there, Fitty. I know. <laughs> yeah. And, and what was Rolling funny about in the, club the with article, a bottle full of bub. <laughs> when I watched this newscast, um, the anchor who was introducing the story, um, and she called she called him Fitty. She called him Fitty Cent. Fitty, yeah. Fitty. Yeah. It was just weird because, you know, usually they call him 50 Cent. Right. And she called him Fitty Cent. Um, but it was just amusing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, there's no there's no S on the end of Cent, right? It's just no. It's just Cent. Yeah. As yeah. in it, like, a, like a 50 Cent piece. Oh, all right. Gotcha. I guess. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> you You met him. I did, yeah. No, yeah. I actually uh, hung out with him for a little bit over at the uh, Golds in Venice. Yeah. Um, where you can pretty much see any celebrity that you can imagine yeah. is over there Arnold's working been out. Yeah, quite a bit lately. Arnold's there all the time. Yeah. I always see him in there. Yep. Arnold Lou Ferrigno, um, Jean Claude. Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude. Uh, who else do they see in there? Um, oh, okay. Uh, a lot. Of, a lot of people. people. Yeah. Anyway. Um, we've got a couple of questions. Uh, people are looking for a tip. Tip, tip, tip. Oh, good. It's not even Tuesday. Tuesday. It's not, but they are looking for a tip. So you ready? Lay it on me, baby. When helping people with their homes, they call Skip Bedell. You want to avoid a headache and save money? He's the man to talk to. It's Skip Bedell. <laughs> Greg Garcia said, "What's the best kind of wood?" To build a garden box to be placed on a patio. Okay. Well, anything that's going to be outside, you're going to want to have something that's weatherproof and hold up to the elements. And especially a garden box is going to have soil in it. It's going to have, you know, a lot of moisture. Also, insects get into that um, that box and are attracted to the moisture and attracted to the wood. So you want to use something that's womanized or pressure treated, certainly to make the frame for. Um, you want womanized? Womanized. Womanized? Woman. Wom womanize a woman. Womanize no, 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 that's, you're a woman. Oh, womanize a oh. It's the you're process a of womanization. Baby, you, 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 
are, you, you, you are, womanizer, womanizer, womanizer. Are, okay. you, are you done? I'm done. You sure? Yep. Okay, thanks. Thank you for that. Yeah. Brittany. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was bad. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't a pleasant sounding singing voice, but it's in key. <laughs> All right, so make it out of pressure-treated lumber, definitely the frame, the skeleton of it inside. You can cover it, if you like, uh, with a composite type of lumber, you know, like a Trex or something like that, if you want to give it a, a color or a finish to it that has some, you know, texture other than just a pressure-treated lumber. Uh, but definitely anything that comes in contact with the soil, you're going to want to have pressure treated because that's really going to hold up, or at least a redwood, something's going to hold up to the elements and hold up to the soil. So, um, so go and check that out. That it? That is it, yeah. Okay. That is, if he's asked me that's what the best wood to build the garden box out of, that would be it. So now he can do garden, you know, pressure treated, you know, whatever type of size lumber he wants. Whether you use like you know six by six railroad ties or all the way you know up to any other dimensional lumber, but it's going to need to have some protection against uh, water and and insects. You know what? Uh, or you can just buy one that's already made, like I have, which is amazing. And I'm going to put a link to it on this episode. Oh, the veg truck. But it's amazing. Yeah, but that, that's more like a gardening type of thing. Like if he wants something decorative that be like a, a, a deck box type of thing, like a planter, you know, that's more for ornamental. And like that's designed oh, to like be a up like. Box. Yeah, that's. Oh. Yeah, your thing. Although you should definitely put a link on it because. You put flowers in it, yeah, though. That thing Absolutely. Is, you could. Yeah. I mean, it's totally. When people cool. see it, they can't believe it. Like, yeah. oh my God, that's the like a genius idea. Definitely put a link. To it, it really is. It really yeah. yeah. When <laughs> Thank I you. when I was building those things, um, you know, I was like, wow, this is a great idea because yeah. you know when you garden, you're always bending over, you're on your knees, and you're breaking your back, and you know it's 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 hard. So this thing is like wait, it's like countertop height. Yeah, it's totally cool looking. Yeah. Um, you can but, grow everything in it. Yeah, well, check that out. But if you want to build something, definitely go with a pressure treated lumber. Then you can you know fancy it up with whatever you want on the outside, but whatever comes in contact with the dirt. So this next question is from Anthony dirt. Camel. Now, that's, that's camel with a K. Oh. He was cute. I asked him, like, how do you pronounce your last name? And he sent me a picture of a camel. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he is the guy who owns Forever Faithful Diamonds. Oh, yeah. He is the one who was making me a custom piece of jewelry. And by custom, I mean something that I created in my head. He is going to turn into an actual piece oh, of jewelry. He, he, he is very artistic then because you got a lot of stuff going on. Yes, up there. yes. And he's going to make it from scratch for me. Nice. It's like not something that anybody else has. And what that's what I love about this idea of having something custom made because I am somebody that likes to have unique things, things that other people don't have. I like to be a little bit of a trendsetter, or at least, That's why you got or at least me. think that I am. There's only one. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Unique. There's only one you. So, I mean, just like, if you ever like have in your head, like, you know, I wish I could find something that looks like this, you can have something that looks like that because you can have it made. You can have whatever you want made. If you can think it, he could make it. Yeah, you Anthony know? is super talented. We met him over at, uh, at Corolla's. Uh, premiere of um, the Paul Newman uh, Paul Newman Paul doc. Newman. Yeah, the Paul Newman doc movie. Um, Winning. Uh, out in Hollywood. And yeah, uh, yeah he, he just very impressive guy. Makes some awesome jewelry. Showed us the website, which is just crazy. So really cool stuff. Very, yeah. very uh, artistic. But he's, I mean, but you talented. can't even like really even just use the website as a determination of what he's able to do because he can make anything else. You know what I mean? Like, it's like if you wanted something that nobody else has or if you wanted something that even looks ugly to other people but it looks good to you he'll do it yeah. and you know what the best part about that is is that if you don't like it he will give you all of your money back all of it can't really go wrong with that you, he will give you back the deposit he will give you back everything or if you want him to he'll do it again he'll just make it the, you know he'll change it he wants you to be happy he's one of those like customer guaranteed. service yes one of those customer service guys that wants you to be happy because if you're happy you're going to tell a friend and they're going to get Another friend who wants something made too. It's like that's the way to grow your business is you want people to tell other people. Absolutely. So he wants you to be happy. So you really have nothing to lose by ordering a piece of jewelry from Anthony Camel. He's got a great website you can go and check out, right? Foreverfaithfuldiamonds.com. And his phone number, if you just want to give him a holla, 
is 949-463-0635. He is out of California. Nice. Yeah, so if you're out there, you can go visit him. And not only just diamonds, too. I mean, he does like everything. Every, semi-precious stones yes. and uh, you know, really anything that All you can think All the different, like the, the metals. The jewel, the diamonds, the the rubies, whatever, all those kinds of so all the stones, everything. He works. If it's jewelry, he makes it. Yeah, he's a certified gemologist. I need like a like, <clears throat> a, like a big giant Mister T like uh, pendant, you know, something with like you know like a lot of diamonds. No, in it. that's no? not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to fly. <laughs> no, because you're not allowed to wear that. You're going to look like an ass. I'm not allowed, mom. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, definitely check him out. Got some really cool stuff. You guys will be happy yes. for sure. And I can't wait to show you guys what he makes for me because I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it either. Yeah, I'm stoked. So, and don't try to fucking copy it. I'm gonna like, like I don't want to see anybody else wearing the same thing because then I won't be unique. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's so Anthony had a question for you. He said that he had added a second bathroom in a two bedroom, one bathroom house without a permit. Oh God. Now he's thinking about selling. Oh God. How can he get it permitted? Yeah, well, that's that's the problem. Uh, the problem is you can get away with unpermitted work, and if you plan on staying in the house forever and nobody knows about it, um, obviously you want to have it done right so you don't have problems with it, you know, and, and leaks and all kinds of other structural issues and everything else that can come with, with work that hasn't been inspected. Um, hopefully you had it done properly by someone who knew what they were doing and uh, did it to code. And then what you can do is contact your building department, and you can apply for a retroactive permit. Uh, they will come in. They'll check it out. If you had the foresight to take some pictures, uh, which you know I always recommend to people if they're going to do work themselves, they're not getting it permitted. Uh, definitely take pictures, especially during the rough-in period when the walls are open. You're connecting pipes and wiring, and all the things that they would come in and normally ask you to take. You know, open up the walls so they can see because they ne- you never went through that inspection process. So hopefully you took some pictures. Um, and uh, hopefully it was all done to code. And if so, you can get that retroactive permit. It'll take a little bit of work. Um, you'll have to contact the building department, have somebody come down and check it out, and you can follow through with it like that. What if but, he didn't take pictures? What, what would um, happen? They, it's <laughs> possible they may ask him to open up some of the walls. You know, they might they might want to see what's going on with the plumbing, you know, what's happened with the waste and the supply. And the easiest way to do that so you're not damaging tile is open up the adjacent wall, be, you know, what's, what's right. ever on the other side of that wall. Typically, it's going to be a bedroom or mm. a hallway or something like that. If you have to cut out, you know, a small um, square or, you know, a small section of the, the drywall so they can see the plumbing, you do it neatly, you mark it out and you cut it um, and you so you can put it back in, tape and spackle back in. But, you know, without demoing out the whole place and ruining tile and everything else, there are ways to do that. Hopefully, you had some foresight and took some pictures. Um, that's again. Every time you say foresight, I think of foreskin. Oh, I see where your mind's at. <laughs> see what I'm dealing with here, Anthony? <laughs> All right. That's the piece of jewelry. That's the unique piece of jewelry you need to get. <laughs> the foreskin that you no longer yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, the foreskin. Just gold plated foreskin. <laughs> Rose. Yeah, so that's what you want to do, man. You want to uh, check out the building department, tell them that. Um, you know, you want to get the permit for the work and ask them what the process is. And, you know, the worst case scenario is there's some stuff that's going to have to be changed or updated. And if you have a pro in there that can help you do it and help get it done quickly and neatly uh, to make everybody happy and the inspectors, so they'll give you that permit. Uh, it can be done pretty quickly, but just get the ball rolling, make the phone call, and get the process started. Groovy. There you go. Okay. Thanks for the question. So, you know, guys, just like we want you to tell your friends about a good business, we'd also like you to tell your friends about a good podcast. Yeah. Tell your friends. Spread the love. Tell them about Hammer Nails Podcast. And, uh, of course, we love all the questions and everything you guys are sending in and um, love doing all the tips and everything. And tip, tip, tip. All the feedback that we're getting from you. And if you're digging it, tell a friend. Yeah, please tell a friend. Please go to our website. Use the Amazon link. You can put it up in the bookmark section of your internet browser and just use it every time you want to shop at Amazon. There's also on our website a PayPal link for a paid subscription. If you guys wanted to show a little bit of support to help us towards the costs of the podcast, that would be awesome. It's got a little drop down. You can contribute $2 a week or $10 a month, which is super duper easy breezy. 
We yeah, a lot of people have been doing that. A lot of people have been really, showing support. We really appreciate it. It works really out to be like, you know, a, a buck an episode. Yeah. You know, so uh, we really appreciate it. It definitely makes a, a big difference and it helps us pay for the cost and yes. uh, show us some love. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we really appreciate that. We really love you guys. Yeah, thanks for coming back. And uh, we're looking forward to doing the next one. Tip Tuesday coming up. Tip Tuesday. Yep, got a lot of good stuff lined up for you. Oh. And a couple other interesting uh, maybe changes maybe happening too. A couple of new things to tell you about. But you'll just have to wait till next time to hear about it. Okay, I'm right. waiting. I'm at the edge of my seat. There you go. Okay, don't forget we love you. See you, you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.